we have a Baby Entertainment review today. I want to thank Baby Entertainment for sending me this review. This is Harvest of the Dead Halloween Night. Now, this is a sequel to the other Harvest of the Dead film, which I have not seen, but I believe you can still watch this one if you haven't seen the first one. It is an hour and 12 minutes long. It came out in 2020. Uh, gets a 4.5 on IMDb, directed by Brian Goddard, I believe. Uh, let's talk about this film a little bit here. Again, I want to thank Baby Entertainment for sending me this review. I've been looking forward to this one. We follow a town where some of the younger people are getting ready to have a Halloween party. And uh, there just happens to be a killer on the loose. And that killer uh, wants to target certain people at the party. And that's your standard premise. You know, it's a slasher. And there's also another genre, but I'm not going to talk about that. So you do get a mixture of genres with this film uh, in terms of what basically is happening. There are some parts of the film that are in the original film. And there are a lot of homages to classic horror and... 80s and 90s horror in this film you have characters named Kane you have characters named Lori you know a lot of characters from from all of our favorites you know in the horror genre and basically that's it these teenagers are getting ready for the party although they all don't really look like teenagers I mean you have people that are grown adults I guess they were using them as teenagers in the film but um that's the premise and there's also some things going on with the police department in the film detectives that are trying to look for certain things but there might be more to them and what they're doing so there's just so many different aspects of the film so let's have to watch it and check it i feel like i don't i've already given away too much but let me talk about the actual film itself uh the budget was was a thousand dollars uk which is basically about fourteen hundred dollars U.S. Um, they had a lot of props in the film, a lot of practical effects. With what they were able to do with the practical effects, it was pretty impressive. Some stuff you could tell they probably didn't have enough money to do certain budgets. Uh, they had budget constraints, things like that, for certain things that they. But with what they did have, they they did pretty well. I mean, this is a Halloween-based film. So you're going to see a lot of Halloween decorations. You're going to see a lot of stuff that I really enjoy. People dressed up for Halloween. Uh, a party on Halloween night. There's a lot of tatas in this film. If you are a boob man, this film is for you for sure. Um, the camera angles are really good too. Like This was not a low budget camera shot, which is surprising considering the, the budget. Um, they must have had... I don't know, a really good camera like a DAT or something like it. Some type of a, a specialized camera for the film because the camera work was great. Uh, acting was good. I'm not going to say it was Oscar worthy, but it was good. Uh, overall, I like the concept of the film. I like the kills. There were decapitations, stabbings, things like that. You can see all that in this movie. But you got to see a lot of practical effects, which is always cool too to see. And, of course, the Halloween vibe is there. Uh, for the hour and 12 minutes or whatnot that you get, it's definitely worth a watch. I would pick this one up if you could find this for, for, for cheap. I believe you can get it on the Bayview website, um, website if they have one of those. Or you can certainly get it off eBay. Um, highly recommended. If you're a big Halloween nut like me, then you're going to want this one to add to your Halloween collection. Again, I want to thank Bayview Entertainment for sending me this to review. Um, I will be checking out the first one as well. And Bayview does have some hidden gems when it comes to their Halloween selections. So go give them a look, and I will catch up with you guys later. Don't forget, this coming Saturday, the 22nd, starting at 11 o'clock, and Mr. Dan of Horror, all up until about 5 p.m., and then a second run at, at, later on the evening with Lamonia Demonia. We are doing a huge fundraiser. Check out the details.
for this weekend, and I will catch up with you later. Catching the flip. Peace.